Hi, I'm Tom Mayanek, host of The Sport Market on Team 1040 and teamradio.ca. This video commentary and show preview is brought to you by our friends at imombo.com. Imombo means business. There have been mistakes made at the Vancouver 2010 Olympic Winter Games, plenty of them, some of them big ones. But for the international media, after four days, or less than a quarter of the 17-day event, to shoot off slam Vancouver 2010 with hyperbole such as worst games ever is either a case of journalists sticking their necks out way too far or simply irresponsible sensationalist journalism. It would be a little bit like football reporters covering Super Bowl 44 this year between New Orleans and Indianapolis slamming the Saints after the first quarter as having the worst performance in Super Bowl history. Or like those covering Super Bowl 22 back in the day slamming the Washington Redskins for their poor performance after only the first quarter. Now we know that both those two teams overcame 10 point deficits and they wound up being measured in the full judgment as Super Bowl champions after the game was over. And in fact, in both those two cases, it wasn't even close. It would also be like hockey reporters covering the 1975 New York Islanders, slamming them for the worst performance in a Stanley Cup final after they were down two and then three games in that championship series against the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Islanders came back as well. The point is, the story shouldn't be told, especially with such hyperbolic tags, until the full results are in. On the other hand, if it's true that the media has been too harsh with its tags of Vancouver as worst games ever, Van Ock's reaction from a media relations point of view has also been problematic, especially over its handling of the Olympic cauldron, the outdoor cauldron issue, which is bordered on unfathomable. Van Ock has to learn the importance of acknowledging mistakes, picking their spots, doing that, and those kinds of admissions go a long way to gaining benefit of the doubt from the media. On both fronts, if it's true that the media has made its mistakes and Van Ock has made its mistakes, let's wait until the full games are over before casting judgment on where these games rank in terms of best ever, worst ever, or more than likely, somewhere in between. Let Sean White do his extraordinary magic on the slopes. Let the weather and the natural environment tell the story of how great a venue and how great a host city Vancouver is. And let the most important hockey tournament of our lifetimes at the best Winter Olympics venue ever tell the story before the final results are in. Doing that will be much more professional on behalf of the media covering Vancouver 2010. And it'll also allow for the paint to dry before the art is fully judged.